Millions of workers, parents, students, the unemployed, the one in eight people worldwide who don't get enough to eat, suffer from stress and anxiety. Millions of others, those who live in war zones or in violent homes and neighborhoods, refugees, migrants, victims of gender violence, or survivors of natural disasters such as tsunamis, earthquakes, and wildfires are traumatized. The good news is there are simple practices that people can use for themselves to manage their stress and trauma. And there is an organization that teaches these holistic practices to people around the world. This is the story of that organization. Its name, Capacitar International. Its mission, healing ourselves, healing our world. Capacitar International began in 1988 in Nicaragua in the midst of war and violence. Capacitar founder Pat Kane was working on a project in Managua and was using Tai Chi meditation and acupressure techniques to deal with her own stress and anxiety. The word capacitar is actually a beautiful Spanish verb meaning to empower, to wake up, and come to life. What began in Nicaragua is now a worldwide network of empowerment and solidarity. Capacitar trainers have given workshops and trainings in over 40 countries in the Americas, Asia, Africa, the Middle East, and Europe. They teach simple, holistic practices, easy to learn, easy to use, easy to share. Practices people can do for themselves, practices that empower them to tap their own inner wisdom. Practices that help them live more peacefully in the midst of war, terrorism, violence, or simply live more wholly as they work to provide a better life for themselves and their families. The practices are from both ancient traditions and modern adaptations. Tai Chi meditation, acupressure, finger holds to manage emotions, emotional freedom tapping, hand massage, the holds, and hand mudras. The direct entree into the emotional brain is touch. So that's where holding acupressure points, doing massage to release tension that builds up in the muscles and nerves, tapping acupressure points to release negative memories from the past, and also triggered reactions that we all have, finger holds, how to manage emotions in dangerous situations, or when we need uh, to know how to wisely respond to situations. She bring all these tools and she put it in a small basket and everyone can use it. It's great, you, you empower the people, this is empowerment, and you, you remind the people to the wisdom of the body and how to heal uh, themselves. The best about this is something very simple and powerful at the same time very simple for me to teach you and for you to teach somebody else. I haven't felt anything as good as this, that's as simple as this, that people can take home and use for themselves and teach others. Step by step, you uh, restore the trust and the peace inside and uh, bring out the, uh, the energy and the power in each person how to heal themselves. And I think it's so marvelous and it's so needed everywhere, yeah. And as you hold the fear finger, like when there's turbulence on an airplane, it doesn't change reality. Or if you're under death threat, as some of our trainers are, it doesn't change the violence. But what changes is within the brain, there's a little uh, organ called the amygdala, the fear center, and that releases that sense of all of the hormones, the, the cortisol, uh, the, all of the stimulation of this, the different organs of the body to help you survive. On the whole, the finger hold are universally uh, the most popular and the most accessible. And the story of a little boy who'd been with his parents at a capacitar training, learning about the fingers, and he saw his father about to take out his frustration on his mother. And he said, Papa, Papa, and held up the finger for anger. We worked in East Timor from about 2001 after the um, Indonesian massacre of the population there. And one of the teachers said to me, I use the finger holds. 
and I no longer hit my students. The growth of the work has been inspiring. A research project completed in 2010 found of the 210 people interviewed in 12 countries, all said that the use of capacitar practices had changed their lives, and some reported true transformation. Capacitar healed their lives When I started to practice capacitar and to be in balance, and I stopped to be as a victim, J'ai reçu, j'ai récupéré mes forces intérieures grâce à Capacitar. The Capacitar personally helped me for my inner healing so that I, am, I was able to reach out to others. Since its beginning, Capacitar has worked with people in places of war and violence. Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, Rwanda, the DRC, South Sudan, East Timor, Palestine, and Afghanistan to empower people to heal themselves from the trauma of their experiences. In difficult area, uh, many people suffer from nightmares and flashback. And certainly the polarity, all the, uh, especially when you put your hand on the forehead and the other hand on the back of your head, uh, dealing with your emotional brain and cognitive brain, that seems to really heal nightmares. The Afghan Peace Volunteers and the work that they're doing and the extreme trauma that they all go through and to see them kind of rest and relax and become peaceful during the course of the different uh, pro workshops that, that we've been doing there. The mission of the Afghan Peace Volunteers is to help build a critical mass of non-violent relationships and alternatives in order to build a green, equal and non-violent world without war. We have this common language mm -hmm. uh, among us and uh, we all know the, the, the Tai Chi movements and we all know the finger holes and we can uh, participate them together even if we don't uh, have the verbal common language. And this is great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we're not first responders. We do respond um, to disasters after the needs for food, shelter, and health care have been met. And that's when trauma symptoms really begin to manifest for people. The problem is in Nepal was that many people came to help, but uh, there wasn't no change. Yeah. So the idea was to teach them to help themselves mm -hmm. and not to do it for them. The invitation came for Haiti from Trokra the Irish Catholic Development Agency, to come and do a needs assessment in 2011 after the 2010 earthquake. Capacita is a tool who help us to deal with our own challenges and at the same time, you know, help others come to us. Just for a few moments, rest in peace. So, I remember the Japanese uh, said, Capacitor arrived at the right time. Uh, right, we started working there two years after the tsunami and the 9.0 earthquake. And besides triggering all of these feelings, so many of the women who had gone through years of domestic violence and abuse. Capacitor was um, helped me tremendously to overcome my uh, instantaneous uh, response to the things I don't want to see and now I can live more peacefully and stable stable and I can work uh, to uh, spread the word the capacity work in Japan the real need is not just the material but the people the community and the people help each other and through capacity exercise the people regain their um, the heart fulfilled and smiling, and that is the quality of life. Um, we need it. In areas of conflict, Capacitar works to bring reconciliation among groups and individuals. Capacitar trains the staffs of gender violence organizations, and the practices are then incorporated into the work they do with survivors. It's a challenge sometimes to connect to our bodies. And it's uh, mainly if we were going through sexual abuse and we disconnect from our bodies, 
The big question is how we reconnect to our bodies. I see the tools of uh, Kipasitar uh, to be relevant uh, for the uh, adults who are being hurt in a relationship, for the adults who are hurting uh, people uh, in, in a relationship in a family, and most definitely for the children. So uh, this is another aspect of Kipasitar that was exactly what I was looking for. I used Tai Chi to, before the training to, to get, you know, so that people can focus. And also the awareness about energy and how to kind of like manage your emotion. In Guatemala, Capacitar trains Mayan health promoters who work to heal gender violence in their Mayan villages and who teach the practices in their health clinics and community programs in the Quiche. We were working with the survivors of this terrible genocide so using many of the capacitar uh, practices or practices uh, really, really help the people to at least continue the process that's still going on even today. Muchos problemas dentro de la familia. Sin embargo, eh, se han acercado a mi persona y he podido eh, apoyarlas de diferentes maneras con las técnicas de EFT, también con el switching. Entonces creo que son técnicas muy, muy importantes porque sí eh, veo el cambio en las mujeres. En Rwanda, Capacita Rwanda works with young people living with HIV and AIDS survivors of the genocide and those dealing with the stress of simply trying to survive. I was traumatized by the genocide and uh, I was there to take a rest and uh, I took a, a training and I think my process for healing started from there until now and then I continue to take care of my spirit, my body. Toujours comme prêtre, je vois que Capacitar peut s'intégrer dans les méthodes d'encadrement de nos prêtres. Vu les situations sociopolitiques, et le peu, Capacitar peut aider les, les chrétiens à se récupérer, à se faire la solidarité avec les autres peuples qui souffrent comme, comme ici. I was so happy to see uh, what we did with uh, our team at Genevieve uh, since we have at least 10,350 people have been trained. Capacitar International, with its commitment to popular education and the global community, encourages those who learn the practices to teach them to others. This emphasis on sharing and multiplying has resulted in Capacitar graduates successfully integrating the practices into systems and institutions in different countries and cultures. I think of um, Nicaragua that way. Capacitar is being multiplied in their youth programs, by their psychologists, in their natural medicine, in their farming projects. It's being multiplied everywhere. Well, we've really worked hard to multiply Capacitar um, practices in a variety of systems, um, with the educational systems, um, healthcare systems, uh, behavioral health, mental health care systems um, at the, in the areas of women's rights, um, human rights, and development. In some places, the practices have been introduced into hospitals and mental health clinics. The practices are helpful for use with patients, but also for self-care for those giving direct service. I do it for the patients and do it, and the students also do it for the patients. When individuals are in inpatient, they are fragile and sometimes they're most vulnerable. And the practices offer a sense of self-control, a little bit of hope, and just calmness to the body, mind, spirit. Capacitar practices have been incorporated into recovery programs for drug and alcohol addiction, as well as in community programs for the homeless. 
We have one clinic that is a homeless. We take care of uh, the 30 plus shelters here in El Paso, uh, plus people living in the streets. So we get people from domestic violence, we got people from um, running away from South America and Mexico, the violence, um, human trafficking here in the United States, so we get a lot of different traumas. Workshops are held for detainees in the ICE detention facility in El Paso through the chaplain's office. What Capacitor has become here in, in, in my image is a safe place. One, a safe place to feel, and secondly, a safe place to verbalize. Administration has seen the benefits. People take less medicines, they become more settled and less frustrated, angry, there's less agitation. A refugee accompaniment manual was developed drawing on the experiences of people working at the Texas-Mexico border and has been translated into Spanish, French, and Arabic for those working with some of the 65 million refugees worldwide. Capacitor practices have been a really wonderful and necessary fit um, with the needs of the people along our border. Use it with the families of the disappeared. We use it with the torture victims uh, and their families. We find that a lot in social work is there's a very big problems in the world that we're trying to tackle and students are eager to learn something that they can do that will help their clients immediately and that's capacitar, I mean, hands down. Retreat and spirituality centers have incorporated capacitar practices like Tai Chi and finger holds into their regular programs, spiritual accompaniment and rituals. Spiritual counselors have also incorporated the practices into their work. Tools have been shared in international women's development conferences to encourage self-care for activists from around the world. Healing Hearts, Restoring Hope, an organization working with restorative justice, teaches the practices in the prisons and jails, as well as using them in groups where victims and perpetrators meet together. Uh, we always do some kind of movement or we do switching or something to try to get them um, calm down a bit to get them to be able to focus on what the task is at hand and it's just amazing how quickly um, that can happen. Organizations helping veterans heal from the traumatic stress they experienced in war use some capacitar practices. Finger holds, I use those every intake and, and really every veteran Everyone absolutely loved them because it's something they can do between their treatments and it's also very comforting to them. Uh, using the capacitor techniques that they've, they've taught us in class and over at the Wellness Center in Glendale and the Veterans Wellbeing Center, it, it's brought, it, br it brings you back more to center, more, more of a social unifying um, aspect of, of understanding what the disease really is and puts you back into more of a positive control of it. So it's not controlling you, more that you're in control of it. In Los Angeles, capacitar practices have been integrated into all the work at Presentation Center in Watts, including in their school. And I find that the students um, come in with concerns, preoccupations about life and how it is and what they're going through. And by the time they leave, and if they've entered in, or they do enter in fully into the movements, they leave smiling, laughing, upbeat, ready for the jail. The tools have helped teachers and students deal with stress in the classroom and school. And it's because of the petits exercises that I do with them qui ne sont pas très dures, que tout le monde peut adapter facilement. J'ai intégré ça même dans les programmes de toute l'année, dans les cours de gymnastique, dans les cours de biologie, dans les, tous les cours que j'enseigne. Je commence à utiliser ces exercices et qui donnent beaucoup d'attention aux enfants à me suivre parce qu'ils m'aiment déjà. I felt myself personally growing and growing and growing mentally and physically and just feeling so much better. I brought all this information into my classroom and I started working with children in my classroom. 
to learn Tai Chi and finger holds. And I saw children relaxing. I saw children getting along with others. I saw children's self-esteem just blossom. The Capacitar for Kids manual has been translated into Spanish, Japanese, Hebrew, and Arabic. We are peace and wisdom and love. This is the work of Capacitar International. Capacitar International is an organization, but it is more than that. It is a spirit. It is the voices of many people from around the world who are committed to heal themselves and heal the world. We join with the earth and with each other. With our ancestors and all beings of the future to bring new life to the land, to recreate the human community, to provide justice and peace. To remember our children, to remember who we are. We join together as many and diverse expressions of one loving mystery for the healing of the earth and the renewal of all life. Namaste.